Paris, Beaver, 850, requesting taxi for the Charles. Beaver 850, turn right on the inner, hold it for 45, Benji, 09 right. Uh, right on the inner and hold it for 45, Beaver 850. Beaver 850, contact ground 127, Beaver 850. Ground 750, good morning, Beaver 850, approaching block 45. For two hours, Speedbird 850, a Boeing 757 of British Airways, will arrive at Warsaw after an on-time takeoff from London's Heathrow Airport. So, just how will over 200 passengers and crew be transported safely and expeditiously across Europe? Following this flight across Europe, we will be passing through three of the sectors handled by Eurocontrol's Upper Area Control Center situated at Maastricht in the Netherlands. The first of these sectors is the Delta sector, where our aircraft will enter at a point designated Redfa. The planned route is to follow the airway Upper Romeo 12 to Tulip, onto Upper Gulf Niner to Pampas and Arnhem. From here, it will be on its way to Recken and hand it over to the Ruhr sector the second of the three sectors involved. Once past Recken, the aircraft will proceed to Remco and subsequently to Osnabrück, but before reaching there, it will be transferred to the third sector, Hamburg. Continuing on Upper Gulf Niner, it will proceed to Robeg, Leiner and then Heiligen, where the flight will then be handed over by the third sector to Berlin Control. Speedbird 850 was airborne at 11.03 and is with London Control. At the same time, via data link, Maastricht UAC is given an estimate for Redfer of 11.24. This is the first position in the airspace controlled by Maastricht. The computer system at Maastricht is now activating the flight plan for Speedbird 850 and basic flight progress strips are printed. All necessary flight data is displayed on the planning controller's monitor in the Delta sector, the entry sector of the flight. Due to certain elements of this film requiring simulated data, please ignore this time difference at Redfer. The information displayed to the controller on his electronic planning control message screen, the EPCM, is developed from the old paper strip system which contains all relevant information concerning the flight. The executive controller is now receiving on the electronic data display, or EDD, a message with an estimate for Redfer of 1124. 
note the additional information for the flight known as the Executive Control Message Long, or ECM Long, which contains information indicating the aircraft is climbing to flight level 370 above flight level 250. The call sign, ORCAM code, departure and destination aerodrome and exit point are all illustrated to the executive controller. Because of the actual radar data available, the REDFAR estimate is automatically revised by the system to 11.23, one minute earlier. This data is displayed on both the executive and planning controller's screens. For their information only, at this time, the system transmits a complete flight plan of Speedbird 850 to FAROS, the Dutch military system at New Milligan. Any changes concerning the flight are also automatically transmitted by the Maastricht system. On the radar screen in the Delta sector, Speedbird 850 initially appears with a flashing symbol with a three-line data tag. The first line indicates the call sign, the second the actual flight level the aircraft is passing, along with an arrow indicating the aircraft is climbing, and the coordinated flight level in two digits. The third line indicates the ground speed, an attitude indicator, and the rate of climb per minute in two digits. Speedbird 850, Maastricht 127.62, good day. Maastricht, good afternoon. Speedbird 850, flight level 318, climbing, flight level 370. Speedbird 850, good morning, identified. Maintain flight level 370, can reach in for signal, compass, Brecken, Osnabrück. Speedbird 850, maintain flight level 370 on region, Pampas, Reckon, Osnabrück. From the RT, note that Speedbird 850 has been given a direct routing to Pampas. The difference between the planned route and the actual cleared route in this instance saves BA not only time but fuel. During this first voice contact, the controller assumes the flight on his touch input device, or TID. This input then highlights the call sign on the radar screen and the symbol ceases to flash. It creates a short ECM on the EDD and updates the information on the planning controller's screen. Meanwhile, the aircraft is passing Redfer, the sector entry point. Speedbird 850 is now reaching flight level 370. Speedbird 850 set course direct to Reckon. Speedbird 850 direct Reckon. On the aircraft's navigation display, the new routing is set and the autopilot adjusted accordingly. Correspondingly, the course correction implemented by the pilot can be clearly seen on the radar display. Now the system creates on the PCM screen of the Ruhr sector, the next sector in the flight, a planning controller message with an estimate of 11.44 for Reckon. The system now informs the Ruhr sector executive controller of the approach of Speedbird 850 by creating on his EDD a long ECM. On his TID, the call sign BAW850 is added to his existing traffic. On the radar screen, the symbol begins flashing. Note also the weather display superimposed on the screen that indicates to the controller the en route weather conditions.
Speedbird 850 is now passing a beam Pampas on its direct route to Reckon and approaching the transfer point to the Ruhr sector. Speedbird 850, contact Maastricht on 13325. Speedbird 850, Maastricht 13325. Good day. The controller in the Delta sector is now transferring Speedbird 850 to the Ruhr sector, and whilst talking to the aircraft is deactivating it on her TID with an input that cancels the ECM message and the PCM message on the planning controller screen. Good afternoon, Speedbird 850, flight double 370. Speedbird 850 is now at the Ruhr sector. Speedbird 850, good day identified. Speedbird 850. The controller at the Ruhr sector assumes the aircraft on his touch input device, the TID, and creates a short ECM on his electronic data display, the EDD. The radar target ceases to flash and the label becomes brighter. The label on the previous sector radar scope is dimmed. Again, the system informs Pharos automatically of the transfer of Speedbird 850. It also creates a PCM message on the planning controller screen in the Hamburg sector. You'll notice that the illustrated time for Halingen is incorrect. This should in fact read 12.05. At the end of this message, it can be seen that it is more than nine minutes before the system will send on an estimate to Berlin, the next control center. The flight plan of Speedbird 850 is called up by the controller for additional information. The aircraft is now passing Arnhem. Note the opposite traffic 2,000 feet below, which can be seen from the flight deck of Speedbird 850. The aircraft is now passing Reckon en route to Osnabrück. Now the system informs the Hamburg executive controller on his EDD with a long ECM, as seen in previous sectors. Note the open diamond behind the call sign of Speedbird 850. This indicates to the controller that the flight is not yet coordinated with Berlin, the next control center. In the Hamburg sector, Speedbird 850's symbol flashes on the radar screen of the executive controller. The Ruhr sector controller transfers Speedbird 850 to the Hamburg sector frequency. Speedbird 850, contact Maastricht on 135.15. Bye-bye. Speedbird 850, confirm 135.12. Speedbird 850, negative, it's Maastricht on 135.15. Bye-bye. Speedbird 850, 135.15. Good day. Making an input on his touch input device, the TID, the controller now cancels Speedbird 850 in his sector. This input erases the call sign on the TID and the message on the EDD disappears. At the planning position, the Speedbird 850 message is also cancelled. Master, good afternoon. Speedbird 850, flight level 370. Good afternoon, Speedbird 850, Master, identified. Speedbird 850. Speedbird 850 is now at the Hamburg sector. The executive controller now assumes Speedbird 850 with an input on his TID and consequently creates a short ECM on his EDD. The radar label is set above normal brightness and on the planning controller screen, the call sign is highlighted in yellow. The ACT message field is updated to four minutes. At 11.51, the ACT message is updated to three minutes.
Speedbird 850 is now passing Osnabrück en route for Robeck, 36 nautical miles ahead. The system is now initiating the ACT message and passing it automatically to Berlin. No telephone communication is required. Speedbird 850 is now passing Grobeck. Note the D in the label of Speedway 7047, which indicates to the controller that the aircraft will start descending to flight level 250 very soon. Four minutes later, Speedbird 850 is passing Liner, and four minutes after that, it is passing Haligan. Speedbird 850, Maastricht. Maastricht, Speedbird 850, go ahead. Speedbird 850, contact now Berlin on 135.65. Auf Wiedersehen. Roger Maastricht, Speedbird 850, Berlin 135.65. Good afternoon and thanks for the direct meetings. The Hamburg sector controller now erases Speedbird 850 with an input on his TID and at the same time the flight details are cancelled on his EDD and on the planning controller's PCM screen. Speedbird 850 is still displayed on the radar screen but in normal brightness. The track is now cancelled and the system is sending a message to all positions concerned which deactivates the plan and removes the call sign from the flight plan list. In a little under 50 minutes, Speedbird 850 has passed through three sectors controlled by Maastricht UAC and is now safely handed on to Berlin, the next center on its flight across Europe. Speedbird 850 is just one of 2,300 flights a day handled by Eurocontrol's Maastricht Upper Area Control Center, which in itself is only one of the external services of Eurocontrol, the European organization for the safety of air navigation.